Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Andy Jenkinson, the caravan industry expert. Hi and welcome to another video. Now today's video is a bit of a vlog. Well it is a vlog. Um, <clears throat> first of all apologies for not being uh, very proactive this last week. Um, had quite a bit on. Um, <clears throat> had a major loft clear out and that meant it's having a cup of tea don't mind you. <clears throat> you mean I'm always having a brew? You're right actually. Um, it's when I've been cleaning out about 30 years of archive stuff um, <laughs> and it's not until you do this sort of thing that you realise how much stuff you've got you know you've got quite a bit but uh, consequently there was a lot now there's a lot of other stuff up there as well and I've done about 10, 10 full carloads of rubbish to the skip um, to the skip to the refuge centre. Um, they're always very picky. I'll put this here. Has it got any plastic in that? Has it done this? Has it done that? Anyway, so that was that. Um, <clears throat> other bits of news. Well, I know um, basically Bailey brought out the new Phoenix and it was due for a change. Um, I don't know what they've done exactly to it much because I've, I've watched some of the videos that they've done on it. Now, you know, this online business is great. You know, sit there in your armchair, your brew. But there's nothing like actually going down and seeing the physical thing. And Bailey have done this now where they don't do any launches anymore unless it's at the show. Um, and basically... You know, they do this sort of um, interview with somebody. Oh, you know what, you're and so, oh, it's great, the new vans, you know. So it goes all that. It's all pro. It's all PR, really. Now, there's a few YouTubers, I think, have been uh, granted special um, look at it. Um, I'm not one of those special YouTubers, unfortunately. Um, so I'm not asked to go and have a look. Although it's a long way to go to Bristol to look at a couple of caravans when in the next few weeks they will be coming on dealers' forecourts eventually. And of course there's a Harrogate show in September, which I think Bailey there, so obviously they'll be there. But the new ones are called the Phoenix um, 75s, because of course it's the 75th anniversary of Bailey uh, as a brand. Um, and they've done it in the past. I mean, my GT60 is a GT60. Uh, uh, GT60 because it was 60 years at the time. Um, I did it a few times. I think done it with the Pegasus with GT70. It's a bit of a excuse to give them a bit of a facelift. Um, so I'm really still looking forward to seeing some of them and and seeing what I think. And you know what I'll say. I'll say what I think. Now um, I think it's hey ho. Here we tow. I'm sorry about that, Irene. If I get it wrong, I'm always getting stuff wrong. Um, they do sort of videos of their adventures, and they've just got a new Bailey Discovery D4. Um, so I'll be interested to see how they get on with that. Um, I've told them what I think about the Discovery. I'm not a big fan. Um, I like the concept, I like the idea, I like the lightweight, I like the price. Um, I'm not keen on that profile. It doesn't do anything for me, to be quite honest. And in fact, a um, subscriber came on the other day and said, what would I go for, the Base Camp 4 or the D4? And I said, that's a bit of a hard one, really. The D4 has got a very practical layout, um, and it's got a good rear and washroom, in all fairness. And for a lot of people, I think it'll be fine. Um, but then again, the base camp, I think, when it comes to sort of again on a resale val value, I think the base camp looks better, definitely. 
um, but when it comes to reselling, uh, the base camp probably will have more of a market than what the D4 will. I'm only going off as an experience because I've seen quite a few D4s up for sale that are a year or two old um, and they've stuck. Um, and I've even seen a 2022 one at a dealer who is a very good dealer who can turn stock around but even he sort of struggled to get rid of his D4 from 2022. Um, but anyway, that's just what I've observed and I'm sure that uh, Irene and her family will be very happy with it. I hope they will be and I hope it suits them what they need. So I've given you a mention Irene. Um, now other things as well is that I've been looking at uh, doing a classic caravan. Uh, there's a chap he got in touch with me called Tommy and he said to me I've got this caravan have you got anything on it it's a Cavalier 1972 so I checked it out he sent me the pictures he sent me a couple of little videos and yes that's what it was and it looked pretty good Nick in fact I got quite excited about it actually as you do as you get older things like that do excite you believe me um, but anyway consequently uh, he doesn't live far away from me which is a big big plus me because usually anybody with a classic caravan usually is a couple hundred miles away and you don't get the time really I don't, you know I've not been getting the time at all with family commitments and some work commitments my books which I'm still lagging behind on um, it's you know it's been a it's been a hard 12 months I'll be honest with you um, so I'm excited about going and seeing that. Probably more excited to go and see that than seeing some of the 2024 stuff actually. Hopefully again as I say I will be getting on the coachman stuff. Um, the videos are done, It's just they just need editing up. And then uh, I think it's 15th of August I can release them. So a couple of new layouts um, they've got. Um, a few bits and, bits and pieces have altered. But anyway that's all I can really say. Um, but yeah um, YouTube so yes uh, we're trying to get to that 4,000 mark uh, and as I say I know a lot of people have, have got thousands of subscribers um, and I'm not saying this is what they've done but you can actually um, a guy came on and he offered me an extra was it four or five thousand subscribers for something like a hundred quid something like that I don't know how they do it but they do it um, I've not done that my subscribers have all come on on board really um, naturally what well, as I say um, but anyway that's that's that <clears throat> um, and also I'd say really and I always call myself I'm a writer but I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm not a youtuber I'm a writer but I do YouTube <laughs> I know it sounds double dutch now it's been my granddaughter's uh, first birthday today, so we've had a bit of a, as you do, she's living at home with us and, you know, having a baby around the house ain't easy, believe me, when you sort of thought you'd gone through all that stage, but anyway, circumstances have, have meant that's happening. Can I'm drinking out my eldest cup. Freedom with flair. Excuse me, now I've quite a few. Um, Caravan Cuts, Luna, Abbey, Swift, Coachman, Bailey. Um, yeah, it's a collection. Anyway, that's another thing. So let's get back. So yeah, so we were doing the um, doing the loft, and I found quite a lot of old pictures and stuff. And I might do a bit of a video on them. It, it's it's one of those things that it takes time to start to scan images, get them sorted, then put it onto video, then try and make it interesting. Um, so it's not easy um, and, it's, and it is time consuming uh, what else are we looking at yeah um, oh yes that's a bit of a thing I'm in court this week and before you say what have you been doing I've not been doing anything somebody else has um, I can't go into the thing obviously but uh, this has been ongoing for some time but anyway let's put it this way somebody as I've, you know, it's 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 not been sorted out, so we've had to go to court. So I'm 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 not looking forward to that really. I'm, I've uh, I've only gone to court once or twice to to defend a, na a neighbour once uh, because I, he'd been wrongly accused of something, and um, I'd seen it, and um, 
I stood up and actually stopped him going to jail actually. Um, but he hadn't done this thing and um, anyway, he got off. Unfortunately he's no longer with us. But anyway, that's that's thing. So that's another thing by the way. So I've had quite a lot on really. Um, as I say, um, going on to the magazines, kind of magazines getting a new editor, uh, whether I'll do any more, any work in there, I don't know. I used to do uh, have a magazine for many years but uh, a few things change as you do um, but practical is still the, the, the biggest one uh, and what I do say is and I do encourage people really to I mean obviously yes you know it's it's my livelihood but you know to support the magazines and um, I know you get your your magazine with the club uh, with both clubs but they are club magazines at the end of the day so you do get you know you don't get quite the, the spread I don't think you never really have had uh, so I know it's a few quid I know it's quite expensive magazines but it, you do get more of an independent view of, of things in general plus I write for it as well practical but that's beside the point um, well, no, it's not actually. But um, so I do use buys in there, as a lot of people know. But for those who don't watch the channel much, um, yeah, I do use buy a bit of new stuff in there. Um, I used to do a lot more, but the magazine has been cut, cut down quite a lot. So a lot of stuff that I would have got in there, a lot of ideas that I've just had to go by the buy, which is rather a shame, really. Um, so hence you know the YouTube stuff now again the YouTube I've got lots of ideas lots of stuff I could be doing uh, some more classic stuff some more motor and stuff but it's just getting that time to actually go and get it done because it doesn't earn a living for me uh, I know it does see for some YouTubers but some YouTubers are very lucky they've retired early and they've got a good pension they've had a, a decent job or whatever um, and they've got a very good pension, the kids are full on the nest, and they can do as they want, and that must be fantastic. I've not got that uh, that freedom. I did have that freedom up to a while ago, um, when my daughter was at school, my wife worked for school as well, so all the school holidays we used to be off, and the caravan was hitched up literally a day, within days, and I used, to, I used to take all my work, my laptop, obviously the camera, um, but unfortunately I didn't do videos in those days um, I always did come out doing videos and I had a few little test ones but I never did any more with them uh, and just scrapped them um, but I used to do a lot of work when I was I was on like sort of holidays um, and it was fun it was good I mean there was times we were away for for weeks in the summer um, and into the winter um, and early spring we always were in the van um, and we've not been away for a couple of years now so I do miss that but anyway things can't carry on as they always are we know that don't we we know that things have got to change um, and things can't always carry on um, nothing's ever written in stone so if you're enjoying your caravaning, do get and enjoy it. Do enjoy it because I did, and I used it up to the full and not be able to use it for a few years has become quite frustrating. Uh, and also it's financially as well. Now, the caravan club used to give uh, some of its press members a discount card, and that was a great help. Uh, but I was always working, so I wasn't doing a, a little freebie holiday. Uh, but that got taken, and I had it for about 20 odd years. Uh, and that enabled me to do a lot of club sites and cover a lot of things for magazines. But unfortunately, they withdrew that um, and they withdrew it without telling us. Um, and the thing was, one of the reasons they do it because people were taking advantage. Um, I mean, how can I put it? A lot of people would just take advantage of having holidays with it. Simple as that, really. Um, I mean, I did suggest about, well, look, if you've been a press member for 10 years at least, then you should still maintain and keep your card. But uh, that didn't go down very well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that that's a great loss. 
Um, and it was, I mean, there's very few perks in this job, but I mean, I used to do a lot of caravan testing, quite a bit of motorhome stuff, uh, a lot of cars. I think we worked out and done about 400 cars in about 10 years or something like that. I was doing a hell of a lot of cars. Um, and also, uh, I mean, caravans, and I mean, my caravan again wasn't always getting used because I was always in somebody else's caravan. Uh, I'd have them delivered to site, pick them up from a dealer's home somewhere, and we'd have a week away. Um, and it was good times, but the things have changed. Covid changed all that. It's really, I'd say, it's really hammered the caravan industry. It's hammered definitely publishing. It's hammered the press, um, and it's even the same now with cars as well. It's they, they, they've cut the fleets right down to the bone. Unless you're writing for a big publication now, they don't want to lend you a car. Um, it's got really bad. It's just taken all the fun and. And stuff out of it it's it's just not good so I was lucky I got through the good times had some great times um, you know always away people's different caravans manufacturers all that sort of business and it was great but I knew it wouldn't last forever and it can't do and the time has come where it's it's gone and you've got to readjust and that takes quite a bit of doing believe me uh, and especially if you've got no pension apart from a state pension uh, you know you sort of you've got to keep around working um, because at the end of it I mean even if I did have like a decent pension sort of come in I'd still want to do work but probably I'd concentrate more I'd do a bit more YouTube uh, and I'd probably do what I could do in the magazines but I wouldn't be going out and fighting for it um, and I'd like to spend more time on, on doing book work as well. Uh, I quite find that quite enjoyable. Uh, can be quite rewarding, although it is hard work. Uh, but anyway, I'm diversifying, aren't I? I'm just really going off track as I normally do do. I'm just rambling on. So, yeah, look, so this is a vlog. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> uh, new stuff. I was at a dealer's the other day and I went to the guy and I said, Look, you know what's happening? anything much like, oh god he says we're sold out motorhomes doing all right used tours well i know used have been doing okay um he was moaning that he can't he had very little in the way of any part exchanges coming in and they were actively going out and, and buying in fact actually they'd gone out and bought just brought in a barely discovery d4 2021 i think it was and um or 22 i can't remember which I've, I've, I'm covering that in Practical Caravan for like the September October issue on you know what to look out for on the Bailey discoveries and um, you know if there's any problems with them etc. So um, they take that in. It was in really nice condition um, and they take a few more vans in, but they were struggling. They were struggling to get the used stuff. And I said, well, what's the secret? Because I've heard some dealers are struggling. Um, and he said, well, it's just down to getting the pricing right. And I suppose that's true. You know, he says, we, we don't mind sort of cutting down on the profit, keeping the stock turning over. Um, you know, and that keeps people interested. So there we go. So um, I will be sort of find out of some of the bigger dealers, hopefully, how things are going. I'll, I'll find somebody that tells me the truth. <laughs> and doesn't say oh yeah it's fantastic but I mean I have heard an insider told me uh, a couple of weeks ago and said things are not all that rosy so do look out for the big discounts on, on tours I know on some of the more market stuff you're getting three and a half grand knocked off four grand um, so it could be worthwhile hanging around and seeing what's available if you're a new caravan uh, okay it's a 2023 but if you're getting a four or five grand off it to me that's worth it I'd, I'd do it especially liked it and what have you so anyway that's the vlog that's me done um i'm sorry it's been a bit long-winded as per normal um and we will get to, to be doing some some tours very soon as i say um it's just a matter of case of really getting out there and and doing so as i say i've been tied up this last week with uh, really with the um with the, with the loft stuff which had to be done it had to be done and I've been dreading it now for the last few years but it had to be done and um, but it's turned up some nice little gems um, yeah from my first brand new car I'm a new ABI Marauder 
in 87 I got a few pictures of that so my first outing with it you know and it was exciting I can remember feeling really excited we'd got a new caravan and it felt very modern even though it was only a sort of a budget range of Tora was a by my orders um, but you know we had a, a heater in it a fridge and we had some reading lamps and stuff and it was a new caravan it was it just had a, a real buzz. I think it was about 3,700 quid in 87. It was a 400 CT. It was a great little van. Weighed about 1,200 weight, something like that, I think. I told it behind a 1.3 Astra company car. Um, and it, it was all right. went down to Devon and that with it. I mean, it sure, it didn't go off like a ball of, you know, it, it wasn't exactly fast. But anyway, um, yeah, it, uh, it did the job. So anyway... Just keep saying I'm going on so but you're thinking for God's sake Andy just clear off I'm clearing off I'm gonna go and I'll see you on the next video no matter what it is whether it's a vlog or or a review um, but I will be seeing you on the next video I'm hoping next week to get out and do some <sighs> um, and so we'll get some loaded up okay well look thanks for watching please keep subscribing I'm trying to get to that 4,000. It seems like it's going to be really difficult uphill. But anyway, uh, it usually isn't getting to the finish line on that bit. Then we start off again. Um, so, but thanks everybody that does come and comment on the videos and ask me things. Um, as I say, I don't mind ask you know, if I can help people, I will do. Sometimes it might take me some weeks because... Unfortunately, I've got to do the paid work first, so uh, that's how it goes. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to go, and um, I'll see you on the next videos. And I still want to do like a bio, a proper bio thing of me. And I've got a I'm going to get a friend to get involved. I've got two friends that were going to help me. Um, but they've had a few problems and stuff, so they've had to sort of curtail what they can do as well as you get older you're supposed to be getting you're getting more time and i'm getting less time working all down than i've ever worked in my life i think for survival almost to pay the bills but anyway um yeah so i'm hoping to do a, a bit of a bio thing and a different and, and do different shots in different locations where i lived and how caravans became part of my life and and how i got influenced by it all and uh, yeah so Finally, I'm going. Thanks for watching again. And um, please keep subscribing. And please put the like button. And please ask me some questions. Um, always try and get back to you. And always try and do what I can. In the meantime, I'm just going to have a cup of tea and a biscuit and a bit of downtime. The wife wants to receive something in the loft tonight and do some uh, more moving around up there. But I've had enough at the moment. So that's a job for tomorrow. Because tomorrow sounds like it's going to be a really wet day. Right. Okay. Definitely going. See you on the next one.